we're back. And we're back today with an offer you can't refuse. Intriguing. Mmm. Because it's from the Chili Mafia. Oh, yeah. Also known as Mr. Vicky's. Uh, I know they're two separate things, Mr. Vicky's and Chili Mafia, but it's the same wonderful man behind them, Mr. Adam Marks. And this is Damson Kiss. I don't think I've ever eaten Damson before. This could be interesting. It could be. Um, Damson, of course, berry type thing that grows on Damson bushes. You don't even know what a Damson is, do you? No, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um. I'm sure we used to have a Damson tree at the end of our old garden, and they're kind of like small plums. It's, it's one of those... One of those things that, again, a um, bit like gooseberry, kind of fell out of fashion. Mm. You know, like elder elderflower and things elder like berries and yeah, things like that, and wasn't it? Yeah. Stuff like that that used to be really, really popular. And because, I don't know, maybe it doesn't come in a cling film wrapped mm. polystyrene tray. Well, it's like hedgerow fruits, isn't it? It's that kind of. Yeah. That kind of thing that you go sort of foraging. We're. we're people actually used to go out and pick stuff themselves yeah. and not just go to Sainsbury's. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. Now I'm pretty sure I've had Damson in the past because um, I'm of an age. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I've had it in the past but I don't really remember the flavour. No, no. I, said I may have had it. I don't think I have. So I'm quite excited to get into this. Now in here, this is proof that Adam Marks is a wizard. Okay. <laughs> Add it up. According to the website, in here we have Damson's 50%. Sugar, 50%. That's 100%. Then we have 0.5% Naga chili and lemon juice. So I know Adam works hard at what he does, but he's literally given this one 101%. That was bad, Ian. Don't you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> the 50% the is a rounded up. Um, don't shoot me. Um, so yeah, let's get into oh, this one. It's such a gorgeous colour, isn't it? Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Got a little bit of flow there, so it's it's kind of similar to the uh, the strawberry kiss. Have a have a smell. Ooh, that's really. Damsony. Dark fruity, isn't it? Almost like, I don't know, sort of blackberry, black currant-y type smells to it. Mm. So I'm, looking I'm intrigued to now this. because it's kind of not what I expected. So it's a nice, not what you would call loose set. It's got a bit more to it than that, but it is fairly loose um, as a jam. And it spreads all the better. Oh, that colour is just glorious. Gorgeous colour to it, yeah. I'm just going to wipe that deep, head and drift deep off. Deep burgundy kind of. kind of colour, isn't it? So, get it down, yeah? Just taken me back about forty years. Even back then, I was still at school. Um, <laughs> wow! It is that sort of like almost blackberry. That dark, mm. dark autumn fruit kind of. Yeah. Mm. That would make an amazing compote, wouldn't it? Wow, would it? You could just loosen it just a little tiny bit, couldn't you? And that over ice cream 
or over like a oh my goodness if you put that into a like a apple crumb uh, apple pie or something like that you know like you'd have blackberry and apple pie it's all damson and apple I, I'd, I would add that to cherries yes in a cherry pie cherries that's the other thing um, obviously anything that dark fruit would normally go with so mm. pork dark um, crumpets I can see this working actually with fried stuff like um, spring rolls yeah it could do I could see it working with that as oh. if you've got a little you know you've got the, the chilli heat there haven't you that will mm. kind of go quite nicely with it but it would actually I mean I, I sit there and I think jam and I think and somewhere you're talking about marmalade the other week it goes on toast crumpets yeah. muffins yada 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 that could very easily be used Oh yeah, you with, with you could put that in your porridge. Food. You could put it, mm. you know, any anywhere you would normally put jam. Um, but I can also see that being very handy for pork chops on a barbecue. Ooh, glaze. Mm. Yeah, I could see that working really well. Um, maybe. You probably want to put a little bit of balsamic or something in there with it, um, but actually use that as like a, uh, a thing. Oh, if you're doing like a stir fry, yeah. Um, you know, may, maybe a little bit of balsamic in there just to to help with the glaze, so it doesn't stick to the pan yeah. quite so quickly. Um, but yeah, that is. That's very versatile. Very, and, and a really underrated fruit, I think. Mm. Victorians knew their stuff. They certainly did. Chili Mafia Dams and Kiss at mrvickies.co.uk. Um, heat wise? It was actually a little pokier than I expected. Um, I was sort of thinking, where it said Kiss, kind of the levels of the heat that strawberry Kiss is at. Mm -hmm. This wasn't obviously quite as. <coughs> hot as the um, hot cherry lips it was kind of somewhere in the middle for me so I'd probably say it's about a two for me I'm just gonna have a look at the strawberry kiss and see what the uh, the naga is in there probably the same to be fair yeah 0 0.5 so it might just be that we've got a slightly warmer naga yeah uh, in this one it's also a slightly looser consistency as well, mm. so... So heat-wise, sorry... Yeah, I, I reckon, you know, a, a two for me. I don't, I'm, I'm still feeling some warmth kind of here. I'd, I, would give the, I would give that... I'd give that a one creeping up to a two, I think, by the time you've had a few bites. Mm. Um, it's pretty mild. You know, that nobody... Nobody's going to get hurt by oh, it. Goodness, no, no. If you left it on the table when the the, the, the litmans got into it, um, they might go, "Oh, this is a bit spicy," but they're not going to hurt themselves. No. So it's pretty safe. Flavour-wise, ten. Mm. Yeah, the uh, the flavour is something else. Mm. So yeah, check them out in the description, MrVicky's.co.uk. Get yourself over there. Uh, I say this every time, but yeah, make sure you've got. A little bit of time because there is quite a range there mm -hmm. um, and once you start looking you will keep looking because you'll just get more and more intrigued so yes well, but i think that's enough from us for now. Indeed. so thank you ever so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it take care and we'll see you in the next one